Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Uh, over the next couple of weeks or, or a month or so, we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing some Belgian beers. Uh, I got some beers from Belgium Beer Station. Uh, go to the BelgiumBeerStation.com. I'm going to have all this info uh, in the description on, on these beers. Uh, uh, these are authentic Belgian beers. Uh, that's what uh, they specialize in. Uh, Give Mark, a, give Mark a ring there or go to his website and check out what he's got going on there. He's got a bunch of great beers over there and he ships all over the world. So uh, if you're interested in tasting some of these Belgian beers, Mark can pick you up. So let's get on with this show, BelgiumBeerStation.com. Uh, this beer, and, and of course, I'm not from Belgium. Uh, I'm trying to expand my palate. I don't drink a whole lot of Belgium, but I do like that style. Uh, we'll see where these beers that I get from him end up. Like I said, they're nowhere. They're they're not going to be nowhere near. Even like this one is a dry hop lager. Hey, that's uh, that's a beer after my own heart. Uh, I don't enter any of my beers in competition. I don't feel comfortable doing that, and I brew them for me and, and the other half. So I'm not brewing them for anybody else's taste. And both of us like hoppy beers. So when I brew a lager, I like a hoppy lager. So I dry hop my lagers too. So I've got two downstairs. I'm getting ready to put in secondaries and primaries, and I'm gonna dry hop both of them. So uh, yeah, I like a hoppy beer. Uh, it doesn't actually have to fit in that style for me to like it. So. Uh, let's get on with the show, guys. This is a Czech Pilsner coming in at 5.30 ABV. And I'm going to try to pronounce this. It's Slap Musky. S-L-A-A-P-M-U-T-S-K-E. And this is a dry hop lager, like I said. Uh, rotating schedule on this beer. I have not had any of these beers that I'm going to be reviewing from the Belgian beer station. So, uh, these are all the first times for me. So... The uh, food pairings for this cuisine is the curry, the Indian, the Thai, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Pan-Asian. So, wow, this this goes with everything just about. The, the cheeses are sharp, blue, and the cheddar. Glassware is a flute, pilsner, the pokel, the mug, the side ale, stein, stange. I mean, just about anything you want to pour it in. You see what I'm going to use today. I like this wide mouth uh, glass. It, it holds the beers very well, especially the ones that may produce a little bit bigger head than normal. So... The beer is not recommended for extended salary. It can be a 5.30 ABV. So uh, let's get the cap off this side and see what we got going here. Alright guys, it pours a very golden color, very light yellow lemony color. Uh, not a real aggressive uh, pour there, but I've got about a finger of half the head there, which is pretty good for a lot of people who like a little bit of head on their lagers. Uh, I'm not a large head fan, but uh, it's releasing the carbonation and that's what you want. You want your carbonation to come out of the beer instead of going down in your stomach and you're sitting around going, erp, erp. I'm full, I'm bloated. That'll release the carbonation. That'll help you out. So, if you want to pour a beer with a monster head, it'll flatten the beer out by releasing the carbonation, and you can drink more. And you won't get as bloated. You won't get filled up as fast. And works out. Works out good all the way around. That's why I say pour it in a glass. You drink it down the bottle. You just carbonate and you're just shaking it up, just doing that, and doing that. Pour it in a glass, release that carbonation. Looks good in a glass, guys. Let's get a nose on this one. I'm getting a floral hop presence. I mean, it's not like the American hops. This is going to be like the European hops. It's going to be a little, it's going to be a mo little more earthy, a little more spicy to me. Uh, it's got a nice lemony floral smell, though. 
little citrusy. I have to say it's got a little grassy grainy smell, but most of the lagers do. I think that's just a, that's, a, that's just the nature of the beast. Smells refreshing, nice lemony, uh, light characteristics to it. So let's see what it tastes like, guys. Cheers, prost. Very easy drinking. Very light, crisp on the mouth. This would be a, what I call a classic lawnmower beer. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it's going to cost to, you know, purchase uh, this like in a six pack or, or a four pack. Uh, I'm just ordering one of these at a time, so uh, it may be cheaper if you're in Belgium or, or somewhere in there. But uh, this is a, this is what I'd call a classic. A lot more beer. Very pleasant, very crisp, very refreshing, light on the palate. You can session the crap out of this beer. I mean, you could probably drink one after the other. And you know it's made with quality ingredients. There are no adjuncts, there are no rice, there is no corn, there is none of that crap that the, uh, the big three around here. Uh, put in their beer so uh, good quality ingredients this is not going to make you feel like crap if you drink more than three or four or five or even a six pack of these you're not going to be tore down like you would be if you drink you know a bunch of that stuff my personal opinion this is my opinion all that crap that they put in those beers is what makes you feel like crap you know unless you're drinking 30 of them I mean my gosh you're getting alcohol poisoning what's causing you to feel bad that but a lot of that those ingredients like the rice and the corn and stuff that's in the beers that they brew they shouldn't be in the beers. Uh, I think that's what makes you feel bad. I mean, uh, that's just my opinion, though. Know, just my two cents worth, guys. This is very nice. I'm going to let the other half sip some of this. And uh, we're going to drink it before it gets too warm because I like these lot more beers cold and refreshing. So, pretty tasty beer. I'm glad I got to try this one, guys. Be right back. We're going to let uh, the other half sip some of this and see what she thinks of it. Stick around see where we end up on this one, guys. Mark, pretty tasty guy. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Get the lacing on the side of that glass. Isn't that awesome? Very nice. Cut this a little left. It's a pleasant beer, guys. Don't you? You can just tell it's made with good stuff. Very creamy. Very light. Very, very nice. Uh, this is a pleasant beer. It's not too, when I say dry hop lager, it is not like a American dry hop lager is going to be. So, I mean, it's just not going to compete with that. The European hops have that spicy, earthy taste, and uh, it's, it doesn't have that piney, uh, the piney resinous taste like the West Coasters uh, have, and some of the East Coast beers have that, have that same taste. So, guys, it's pretty pleasant. If you see this, pick it up, give it a try. Mark, it was delicious. Uh, I enjoyed this one. I'm looking forward to doing the next one. The, uh, the website uh, for BelgianBeerStation.com, guys. Hey, I'm going to give this beer, uh, I'm going to give it a 7. It's a B plus. It is above average beer. It's very tasty. Very uh, summery to me. Uh, be a nice, like I call them, they're lawnmower beers. And that's not insulting them. It's just, it's, it's a Pilsner, Czech Pilsner type beer. It's a lighter beer. Uh, it's not made to be heavy. It's made to be light, refreshing, and, and sessionable. I mean, it's only 5.30, so pretty tasty beer. Without me rambling on anymore, guys, Red Beer has 81 overall and a 98 in the style. So pretty impressive numbers for the style. And Beer Advocate are just out in left field with 83. So that's pretty average for what they're giving beers here uh, lately. So guys, this is Tasty Beer. Pick it up. I can't pronounce it. Slap, slap musky or something like that. So it's pretty tasty. Guys, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and we're looking at friends tomorrow. Join me then.